There's a dangerous game being played in Toronto and across the country. Romeo pimps who promise love and security, then enslave girls as young as 12. Moved up and down highways, from hotel to hotel, and motel to motel. Matthew Dieco has played the game and he knows it well. Charged with trafficking, kidnapping, assault, forcible confinement. He awaits trial. Sex is a part of life. I think a woman, she, if she wants to make money off it, she shouldn't have to go to jail or somebody that's helping her. It's her life, it's her body. Why should anybody be getting in trouble? Why should the Johns be getting arrested because they bought a woman? Some people don't want a relationship. They just want to get what they want and go home. No strings attached, no relation, no feelings, no fighting, no... Quick business deal. How do you get a girl to fall in love with you and get a girl to be willing to do this? It just happens, like, most of these girls, like I said, they're broken. It's not hard. You just gotta answer their call. You get in there, you, f you find the crack. Like, some are drugs, some are just, I, they need to hear I love you. But if they just want someone to love them, this guy's not talking about loving her. Oh, I know, but that's what she believes. It's the illusion. Be there for them. Tell them what they want to hear. And you tell them, well, we need to put money away. I'm going to do what I do. See, I'm putting my 50 in. You have to do your 50. So, there's another way you can have sex with guys. But don't worry, I'm going to love you. You know, I'm going to go and sell drugs if that's what I'm doing on the side. Or I'm going to be making money and I'll be here to take care of you. The end of the night, you're home with me. Every girl's had that that fantasy wedding in that house with a pink fence. They sell it to her. Okay. She'll do it. Why would she do it? Because you just sold her a dream. Some of these girls are broken. It fixes them. What fixes them? Knowing someone out there cares. The illusion of it, right? Me, I don't let that happen. Because I'm not going to say a lie to them and say, oh, I love you. I don't. I love my money. And would you call that being a pimp? No. I don't know what you would call it. I'm not a pimp. A manager. 